Hello and welcome everyone to yet another episode of Tech Update with Techie yes, SMS and in this series I try to cover all the latest tech updates happened during the span of the month in the field of DIY electronics, IoT and maker community in general which includes all the latest development boards and sensors released, all the latest news which came in this month and also I cover all the interesting projects that were made in this month. And these all are kind of information that you all must be aware being the part of the community. So let's start with the tech update with Tech SMS June 2021 edition. Let's get started. So the first news is coming from the company called as M5 Stack and they have released their new product on June 11 and it's called as Atom Socket CN which is based on the uh, Atom series. Okay, as you can see here is the M5 Atom so we can uh, you know, be sure that this is based on the ESP32 board. But uh, what is this socket basically? See, socket is kind of a thing where we can provide the input like the AC input and we can uh, you know get the output while AC or DC. It's just because they have built in relay inside it and not only that it will also help you to measure the current and the voltage going through it basically you will be able to measure the power consumed using this particular product by any device which is connected to this product okay if i go into its official uh, purchase page then uh, first of all it is quite a costly product like almost 23 dollar a price is fixed for this particular thing and one more thing this is not used uh, like not useful for uh, indians of course it's just because the relay which is used inside this particular product has a uh, what you can say configuration to pass only 100 to 120 volt in ac we can use it in DC because it uh, its rating is 20 volt, uh, 28 volt in DC. But for AC, it's not for Indian users, so better you don't buy it. Well, it's made according to the Japanese standard specifications. I don't know why they did that, but yeah, it is that. And the features are: it can measure the active power, it can measure the current, it can measure the voltage. Everything is built inside it. So yeah, that's the product uh, from M5 Stack. It's a new product released in June. Straight after that, uh, we have a new news coming from the Blink IoT platform and which is like this, these are kind of questions which are asked to me like so many times as soon as the new Blink platform is launched and this, those questions are, hey Sachin, will the previous platform shut down? Hey Sachin, will I be able to transfer my previous Blink project into the new one? And the last, which is the most common was, Hey Sachin, can we make the local Blink server using the new Blink platform? <laughs> well, I didn't answer any of them, rather Blink team uh, made a blog containing all that FAQs, okay? So let me go through all those three most asked questions to me at least, okay? So the first question was, uh, will the old platform continue to work? So the good news is that yes, the Blink, like older version of the Blink will continue to the work, but it will be like getting no longer developed or supported means you won't be getting regular updates on it no longer support for the new other previous version of the blink okay so that's the negative point but it will be continuing to work so don't worry okay your previous project will work next question was with will my current project be available in the new platform or rather will the previous project can be transferred into the new one the answer is no you won't be able to you have to recreate that whole project inside a new one and the third question will uh, sorry what will happen with my local blink server so the, the the company says the new platform does not support local server so it's clear they are not supporting the local blink server in the new one okay so those were the three most common asked question whose answer is provided in this blog i'll leave its link in the description if you want to uh, read more such faqs uh, provided here okay straight after that uh, we have an update coming from arduino id like arduino has always an update like on all the three episodes i think arduino has some update like which is cool the company is working on one other thing all the time that's the good news okay so this new update is a very small update but really important update which is new workflow for arduino library submission so in case you have made your own libraries and submitted those libraries to arduino to make uh, it listed inside the library director then you must be knowing that it takes a lot of time uh because earlier it was manually reviewed like when you make your own library and submit it to the arduino team they manually review it and it takes some time to review it manually because they must be getting so many libraries but now they changed the systems and made a bot to monitor all the library or to review all the libraries okay it is mentioned here that submitting new libraries now as simple as opening a pull request in repository yeah uh, they also mentioned that uh, as soon as uh, like as we upload a repository on a github it's that simple to upload a new library and a bot performs automated 
checks and when passed, the request will be merged immediately and within one day, the new library will be listed inside the Arduino library di uh, directory. Okay, so that's the good news. Within one day, you'll be getting your library listed on the Arduino library directory. So yeah, that was the update coming from the Arduino side. So hey, have you made any library? Like I have made a couple of libraries, but I never submitted to the Arduino directory. Rather, I just uploaded onto my GitHub repositories. So have you, have you ever tried submitting libraries? <laughs> Do let me know in the comments. Straight after that, uh, okay, so here is that GitHub repository of the Arduino library registry. Okay, so that's the page. No, no, it's not an update. Okay, next update is coming from India. Okay, so this is from Smart Den. You all must be aware about because I have reviewed one of its product. Like the, it is an home automation uh, product company and in june they also jumped into the developers field okay so the, they have made a platform for developers to make their iot projects okay so that platform is called as smartden.tech and it's an iot platform uh, just like blink just like ubidots just like adafruit it's an iot platform where you can you know uh, add your usb boards create a, like push buttons and gauge and everything and like control your appliances or monitor their status onto this dashboard over internet via MQTT protocol. Okay, so this is the new platform which is released in this month and uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I have seen the complete video uh, by Shrey. Okay, uh, Shrey is a member of a Smart Den company only. So he made a YouTube video which will teach you how to use its plat or his platform to add a device, to add a gauge and everything. Okay, so it's kind of a demo video. So I've seen this video. It's quite simple. It's quite easy to use. It feels much more like using Ubidots because uh, the, the code used for this particular platform uh, uses the library called as PopShop client, which is a common library or the basic library to use the MQTT client code or MQTT protocol basically, okay? So that's the code uh, they use, the PopShop client code. And I, I watched this video, it's easy, super easy, uh, super useful, and um, it's free. It's free for developers. So you do check it out. Well, do you want me to make a tutorial video of it? You may ask me to make it and if I get a majority of uh, questions or majority of requests, I, I'll, I'll definitely try to make at least a getting started video with this particular platform. Let me know your thoughts inside the comment. And yes, there is one more video lined up, uh, which is about a new IoT platform. I made a getting started video of it. You want to love it. It's, 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 a, it's a very popular IoT platform. Can you guess that? <laughs> If you guessed, let me know in the comment. Moving ahead on uh, to the next update, which is, hey, this is not a project basically, okay? But it's kind of very interesting, useful, informative video. So I listed it inside the tech update. Uh, this is coming from the bigclive.com and uh, its title is inside a Bluetooth RGB controller. So first of all, like one thing which amazed me is that it's the, see, it's basically an RGB controller, but first of all, look at its size. So here, as you can see, this black portion, like this portion is controlling the whole LED strips. Like, in India, like I personally never seen this kind of small controllers, rather I have seen those white boxes, like big white boxes to control the LED and that too with the help of IR remote. But here, this small controller can control the LED using a Bluetooth application, no more IR, using Bluetooth, just take out your smartphone, take out the app and control all the things, okay? <laughs> so that's the thing which amazed me. But that's not the video. The video is about how they made their LED controller using Bluetooth. Now that is something interesting. That is something informative. Okay. So if I go to uh, this particular page, uh, this guy like, uh, you know, reverse engineered all this thing, made a printout, like a big printout of the circuit board and explained each and everything. And the most important thing, which is this XC610. Now this is an amazing IC, which has a Bluetooth built in, which is used in quite a lot of Bluetooth applications, okay? So just watch out this video. You'll uh, you'll be learning so many things regarding this controller and regarding this IC, like in general, okay? So do watch it out. I personally find it interesting. That's why I listed it here, okay? Straight after that, now is the time to... No, it's not the time for the projects yet. This can be regarded as a project, can't be regarded as a project. It's... So like have, have a look over it like let me just play this video as you can see these are the small leds and they don't have any battery attached to it so like can you imagine like how they are getting the power so basically they have that inductor built in and 
below as you can see this is the copper line where they are you know uh, wirelessly transferring the power so this looks so magical like it is wireless power transfer of course but look at those tiny leds it's like they are self illuminating without any power it seems magical i really loved it it's just this, this the, like lady ada is just showcasing this a particular leds i i'm not sure i'm not sure if this is the product from ada fruit but yeah this is amazing like i really loved it this this concept is superb okay so now it's the time to start with the interesting projects that were made in june 2021 first projects coming from the maker moki or meki i don't know but yeah there's maker okay so this is like this is a super popular project of june 2021 you must have seen in so many different different social media platforms okay so this is about uh, uh, creating a scrolling display using the small tiny oled screens okay so this is kind of a unique concept uh, this guy has picked up okay it's designed complete pcb on his own as you can see this is complete scrolling display made using those tiny little oleds and the good news is that this can be controlled like we can transfer the data the text to be displayed using the blink id platform this guy showed this as well let me just uh, fast forward it okay so as you can see he's transferring the data using the blink platform and yeah he is able to make that scroll onto this uh, what his name does he named it okay it's circular scrolling that that is the thing okay so that's the project which i find interesting second project which again i find interesting is coming from murtaza's workshop now this is of course a project but he didn't taught this project here on his youtube channel rather he made a paid course of it to learn this and so many different different things okay so if you are interested you can go for the course but let me just show you what's the project so it's a project called as selfie drone okay so he he used this DJI a Tello drone which is a programmable drone and i was thinking of to buying one like should i go for this Tello drone like programmable drone if i if i get it like what kind of product should i make i'm confused about that but maybe i can buy it maybe i can't i don't know i don't know i'm still in confusion to buy this or not but let me just show you the project so this is the project uh, this is the tello drone so tello drone has a built in camera in it and it is programmable as i said and he has used this open cv to track his face body and all the gestures kind of thing okay so now uh, as you can see this camera uh, this drone will follow the position Okay so this drone will follow the position of that person okay that's the one of the feature second feature is he can take a selfie okay uh, let he will show it right now okay so this this gesture will enable the uh, or trigger the selfie mode inside the drone and after a few second it will click a picture of him okay as you can see that he clicked the picture so yeah that that's the project the selfie drone just do this gesture it will click a selfie and it will follow wherever you go so that's the interesting project um i kind of like really liked and i i kind of feel like making it but still not sure if i ordered this drone or not i don't know and uh, moving on to the next project coming from our favorite electro noobs now electro noobs always have some project which in which which like i have to include in this tech update i don't know he, he is like creative person so he made this homemade reflow which is not a new thing there are quite a lot of videos on youtube that explains you like teach you how to make this reflow hot plate for you know smd soldering okay but i haven't watched any of those i just watched this video and i find it pretty simple to make and i was like me and my team was thinking to make a reflow a hot plate for our studio maybe we can make it in future okay so this is basically like he he taught all the things all the components used and all the like he used the old iron to make this hot plate okay and he made it quite successfully okay so in case if you are struggling with soldering those smd components well, this is the project you should consider to make uh, for soldering all those smd device smd small calls components okay so that's the thing coming to the next project so i have so many projects in this particular month i like uh, many of them so this is coming from robotics kanthi now this can be a controversial project okay first let me show you what is the project okay so the project is about a laser projector as you can see there is a laser right behind it and he is projecting his image onto this white paper okay and he is not only able to print the image he is also able to print the uh, text we can say like scrolling text okay so this is 
this at, at a worst glance it looks nice like it looks wow like and it is like loved by so many people that means you can see within two weeks it got more than seven lakh views so it is quite popular video on youtube as of now and uh, it's it like if i talk about myself i personally like this at a very first glance but i kind of confuse it is this a real project or uh, there's something uh, like uh, edited in some of this project because look at the precision of this particular laser diode like we can't get that much precision in a laser diode and and i'm not only person who doubted this video there are so many people who doubted uh, about this project whether it is real or not that look at the comment section this says this is hilarious how people believe this is real bad editor no schemes pure fantasy everyone it's like it's not a real project it says for information this is pretty clearly faked okay so there are so many doubts coming up by watching this uh, project even i'm getting uh, doubt whether it is real or not do watch it out and <laughs> let me know your thoughts do you think it's a real project I, I doubt because of its precision that that's the thing let me know your thoughts as well so yeah yeah this is the interesting project so i consider it here real or not <laughs> i don't know but it's interesting okay moving on to the next one which is kind of fun project to make well in the family gatherings in the friends gathering you can definitely try this project it will be super interesting it will be super fun uh with like playing this game with all your friends and family members it's about playing this dinosaur game of the google chrome you must all be aware about like pre pressing this place button the dinosaur jumps to this cactus and everything okay so what this guy did is that he connected arduino he connected two of the wires one is connected to his leg another is connected to the pudding okay so as soon as both are like uh, touched together Uh, it creates a conductive path and it gives a signal to the Arduino. Okay, and as soon as it gets disconnected, it again gives a signal to Arduino. And when it's disconnected, the uh, dinosaur will jump. So basically, it's like when you jump onto the pudding, the dinosaur will jump. So that's the game. So that's how you play the game. Let me just show you the demo. As you can see, he jumps and the dinosaur jumps as well. <laughs> so that's a very interesting game. Like <laughs> other than pudding, you can use any of the conductive things. So it's not necessary to use pudding. It looks very messy. And in the end, like the most you thing is, in the end, they just. <laughs> they, let me just show you. <laughs> okay, the punishment is here. So those who lose this game have to eat this pudding, and he literally ate that pudding. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Let's just skip this video. So that was the project about uh, making that game using Arduino. Okay, moving on to the last project, which is the most interesting project to make uh, using uh, what he has used, using 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 RFID. Okay, using RFID. Let me show you what the project all about. So first of all, it's coming from the uh, YouTube channel called as Wired. And Wired makes some really great videos. Like the projects which are made in Wired are kind of used in the real life, in the real world. They are not just like projects that are set in the studio. They have used in the real world, and this is one of the projects. So first, let me make you imagine the scenario. So this is the guy who owns a bar, and he's kind of a geeky as well. So what he discussed that whenever a person comes to the bar, he gives me the credit card. He enjoys the drink. He enjoys the ambience. Everything. And uh, when he is done with that thing, he le leave the bar without taking the credit cards. And as you can see, these many credit cards he has. So the concern is he wants something that can alert people to take the credit card back before leaving the bar. And for that, he made an interesting project. And the project is he made a RFID based wristband. So in wristband, uh, he has a RFID tag. You can say okay. So as soon as anyone uh, gives him the credit card, he just put on that belt on the wrist of that person and at the door side what he did is uh okay let me just go a little bit forward okay so at the door side what he did is at the top he installed an rfid trans receiver you can say and on the back on the side of the wall he installed all the electronics like all the controlling part and uh, all the speakers and everything he installed at the side base and as soon as a person tries to move out of this particular door the rfid tag will be sensed by the rfid receiver and uh, a buzzer like a speakers will start uh, buzzing a sound okay 
and it will be displayed onto the door that close your tab that will remind that person that he need to close his tab onto that counter and take that credit card back before leaving that bar so that was an interesting project so it's kind of a whole journey he discussed in this video so earlier he tried gps then he tried bla and then he landed up on rfid so all the journey he has discussed and how he made the project and how it successfully worked now everything is discussed so yeah that's the interesting project now why is it interesting because it is really solving a real life problem it is used in real bar you can say okay so that's the thing which make it stand out uh, as compared to other projects so that was the last project and before that like before i make you leave let me show you one more thing uh, have you guys checked out my latest project which i uploaded in last sunday while well, that is a really interesting project so if you haven't checked it out i'll literally insist you to check it out because it's really very awesome project it's about merging two technologies which is ar and iot augmented reality and internet of things let me just show you the demo of that project so here as you can see i'm able to see the buttons which are not real it are virtual buttons and using those virtual buttons i'm able to control the physical devices i have made a complete tutorial of this project which is uploaded on my youtube channel you should definitely check it out to learn some new thing uh, in this particular month okay and one more thing like the really last thing which i need to tell you i put my updates in the last like why do i do it i should put my updates in the front uh, let me just show you so i created yet another channel in this month which is called as tech it tech sms shorts and in this channel i used to upload all the short videos like all the 30 and 60 second videos which are informative which are entertaining which can be a behind the scenes and uh, which is like short but useful projects as well so all those kind of short videos i will be uploading onto this channel i'll leave the link of this channel in the description do subscribe it like you have to subscribe it you have to i don't know you have to subscribe it <laughs> like you'll enjoy this uh, channel I, I won't be bothering you i won't be annoying you you'll enjoy this shorts videos shorts channel so that was the tech update with techie sms june 2021 edition i hope you like it i hope you enjoyed it i hope you got to know something new from it and i hope you enjoy this series and if you are enjoying this series do do like the video and let me know in the comments that you are really enjoying this series and i asked so many things to put in the comments so just do put in the comments about all the questions which i ask in this video and that being said i'm just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video to explore learn share with me techie sms